Will a woman holding out on intimacy guarantee a man to commit, right? Will it guarantee that the man commits if the woman holds out on being intimate and holds out on, on bedroom fun and all that good stuff? It depends, but for the most part, the answer nowadays is going to be no. And I'll tell you why. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. I'm Tarek, and I'm going to be talking my stuff, all right? <clears throat> So check me out. Like, comment, subscribe for more men's health, dating, and fitness discussions. So that the short answer, ladies, is no. Okay? It depends, but for the most part, it's no. Because simply, for a couple of reasons, one of them is because nowadays, men that have been around the block, you know what I'm saying? That we, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I, I've, I've seen it. I've experienced it. Guys that know better about how young ladies do in the dating market and the dating strategy, so to speak, we we know how most of y'all do, right? How the modern woman operates, meaning we know that you guys have a dual mating strategy, okay? Uh, pretty much this means you guys will be intimate, let's say, and I'm using PG terms, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes y'all get straight piped. There's nothing really intimate about it. Y'all get intimate with some guys on the first or second night, right? Maybe even hours of meeting him from personal experience. And you make some other guy wait, okay? You make some other guy wait. So while you gave your body up to some guy that you just met at a party, you give, you give your body up within four, you know what I'm saying, within two to three hours or something like that. You make this other guy wait for months and months on end, and you make him work hard for you, right? He has to do all of this, taking you to dinners and taking... And this the guy that you usually make wait is the guy that has his life in order, right? The guy that's, that has some kind of life going for him, some kind of financial stability that you see, and he will make a good long-term partner. But the guy that you bang on the first night is usually that attractive guy. You find him real attractive. You look at him and your sprinklers down there is going off. Okay? So we know this strategy. We know this strategy. A lot of us are starting to wake up. I've, I've Like I said, I've seen this since I was a kid, like growing up. You know, I grew up in Houston. I grew up in Houston in an urban environment. So I've seen this kind of foolery growing up my whole my whole life okay so that's that's number one a lot of us are starting to wake up like nah she's making me me wait I, I know sometime in her life i know at one point in her life she got piped the first night at some party or club or whatever whatever the case is second reason is ladies it's not it's not just your intimacy alone that's gonna keep a man that's a huge part right? That's a huge part, but that's not alone. If you think you're just going to come in and throw your cat around and a guy is going to stick around in a relationship, you're wrong. If the man is doing what he's supposed to do, right? If he's a strong, solid man, if he take care of business, he, he making sure everything working, he making sure you're safe, you're good. And you think the only thing that, that's going to keep him is throwing your cat around and not reciprocating, you know, your side of the deal, you're mistaken, right? Divorces happen all the time. Yeah, women engage them more, but guess what? Men do it too, right? Men break up with females too, okay? So if this guy is doing all that he's supposed to be doing and, you know what I'm saying, keeping up with stuff and keeping you comfortable, keeping you safe, but you over here being disrespectful, pots are cold, right? When he asks, look... When someone asks if you can cook, something so simple, something so basic, some of the most basic uh, things to, to survive, and you get offended, that, that's a red flag. I'm sorry. That's a red flag. For long term, that's a red flag. I mean, so, so what are you saying? You're going to eat out all the time, right? That's just one small, tiny example. That's just one speck of dust. Okay, but what, what we're mostly looking for is when we come home, we want a peace of mind. 
Are you going to be a, be a peace of mind? Or as soon as your man come in from working and sweating, he got dust all over his face and all that, are you going to be hooting and hollering at him as soon as he come in? Are you going to be nagging him for the most stupidest things, right? The, the, thing, the thing that's going to keep a man is a woman that is, and we all have our ups and downs, right? No, no relationship is perfect. You're never going to be in a relationship where everything is peaceful 100% of the time, okay? That's not what I'm saying at all. Let's just keep it real. But what I am saying is for the, for the most part, you're cool. You know, if you want to do an activity, you're more, you're more than happy to join him. If you want to do something as simple as walk in the park, right? I love being outdoors. I love being walking in the park. That's just little things I like to I like to do. Let's say your man wants to do that. Are you willing to do that with him? You know, are you willing to make sure that he's good? Like if you see him kind of struggling and as men, we're not we don't really like to talk about our feelings. But as a woman, you could sense it. Are you going to be there to, you know what I'm saying, comfort him and let him know it's going to be okay? Because, ladies, just you doing that, <laughs> you doing something as simple, as simple as caressing a man's head and telling him everything going to be okay and then giving him some some bomb bomb in the, in, in the bedroom, which, like I said, is not the end all be all. That's not the only thing that we look for. But it was just the act of you caressing his head, telling you was everything going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Just you doing that is going to make him grind even more. Right. But a lot of times young ladies want to be combative. A lot of young ladies. And this is true. Like, tell me if I'm making up a lie. I've, I'm not telling a lie because I've experienced it. OK, I've experienced it. Uh, a lot of combativeness a lot of argumentation. It seems like it's always a power struggle. It seems like the woman always feels like she has to one up a man sometimes. Okay. This is the modern way of thinking. They think a lot of young ladies think that being uh, supportive of their man and being kind to their man is something weak and it's disgusting. It's crazy. It's terrible. Okay. And I know as men, we have our own faults. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and just act like we're just angels. Okay. But like I said, you know, that whole com combativeness, a lot of you young ladies go in relationships and you want to do everything that a single person wants to do. You still want to go out with your thought friends. You still want to hang out at all odd hours of the night and talking to other guys, letting them grope you. And then if your man says anything, you call him insecure and controlling. If he says, Hey, look, uh, that revealing those revealing clothes that you got on right now, I don't approve of that, right? You don't respect it. You're gonna say he's controlling. You're gonna say he's insecure. Okay, so basically, we just we know that you young ladies, you get down with dudes on the first night, and I don't want to hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm gonna get a couple of young ladies on here. Oh, that's not me. That's not me. Hey, look, we don't know that. Okay, what we do know is the modern mind state. This is what it is, okay? This is what it is. A lot of these young ladies will fool with men on the first night and then make that that good guy, you feel me, the good stable guy, make him wait. I've seen it firsthand. I've experienced it. I'm going to give you a brief little synopsis I, or, or true story. A young lady that I messed with, she was my coworker. I messed with her on the first night. We had went downtown, went to a little bar, after an hour, she pulled my hand like, let's go, let's get out of here. And we did our thing the first night, you know, and then after that, we kind of went our separate ways. Come to find out she makes this this other guy, let's call him uh, Chuck. She made Chuck wait for like months to get the pie. And he became her boyfriend. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm just in my head like, wow, she really did that. She really just did that, you know, and I've been seeing this forever, so... Ladies, no. Withholding intimacy for the most part. Nowadays, maybe in, in the 50s and stuff like that, when we when it was a little more trusted, you feel me? And young ladies didn't have a, a enormous high body count. Maybe that would have worked. But nowadays, <clears throat> it depends on the guy. But for the most part, not really. Okay. So anyway, with that being said, it's my little video. I'm out. Peace.